For more than 45 years, a small shop at the entrance of Dixon Springs State Park has brought a bit of whimsy and fun to the region. Manager Angela Bailey says the chocolate factory got its start back in 1977 in Golconda. My mom and her friends went to a class and the lady was showing them how to make chocolate and they thought that looked like fun. And then it was just kind of like, hey, let's start a business. And they started here in Pope County because they lived in Pope County and they wanted something close to home that they could still have their kids and their family close by. And it just progressed from there. They used to sell cakes, cookies, and other food, but part of that progression involved realizing what was selling and what was not. We don't try to do so many things that we can't do one thing good. We would rather do one thing and do it really good. And that's our specialty, our chocolate. Our chocolate is gourmet, it tastes delicious, and we want to have a great always have a great quality product. While the majority of retail shopping has progressed to relying on having an online presence, the Chocolate Factory finds a lot of their customers through tourism and the Shawnee National Forest. It's funny, the majority of our, our business is not internet business. I mean, we do have internet business, but the majority is just foot traffic, people coming in. You would be surprised at the people that come visit Pope County you know, to go hiking or to go to the wineries. And so that is 90% of our business is just people coming in here and word of mouth. That word of mouth has spread across the country and across the ocean. Just for the ease of shipping and the cost, we try to stay within the continental United States because it's just easier that way. Um, but we have shipped to Europe, Germany. Just if people are, want that and are willing to pay the cost, we will do that for them. They've also seen an increase in business from participating in the SI Made Expo that returned in 2022. We just think that this is a great way to showcase any local business, and that's kind of what we want to do. We always want to help any business that's starting, anyone that's starting a business, we want to try to help them, and we want to showcase ours. And it's a great way to meet people, to network, and you know, get our name out there for maybe somebody that hasn't heard of us and get some different clientele. At the time of their 45th anniversary in the fall of 2022, Bailey was preparing for the holidays. We try to do things based on the season. So actually this week, we just started our fall line. So we did pumpkin fudge and pumpkin truffles, and we have chocolate covered caramel apples. So that's for our fall line. And then for Christmas, we'll have hot chocolate bombs, we'll have peppermint fudge and some other uh, peppermint bark, some other Christmas products. Bailey says it can be difficult to remember all their recipes over the last four and a half decades. We have a secret list. We have to keep a secret recipe book that we have to keep. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard. It's very hard. Yeah. Now the store is filled with an array of chocolate treats in a variety of shapes and sizes. And Bailey says there are lots of things to keep up with. We have white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. We have it with nuts in it, caramel, fruit, um, creamy centers, sea salt. We've even done odd things like potato chips dipped in chocolate, bacon dipped in chocolate, um, jalapenos in chocolate. So just whatever the trend is, we try to stick with what's popular or what our customers ask for. And right now, coffee flavored things and sea salt are really popular. For In Focus, I'm Benji Jeffords.